Hello friends and welcome to today's video. This is a small tour of our apartment in Nashville. We're very much inspired by New York apartments so we wanted to give a little bit of that vibe to ours as well. With the use of the gold frames, the gallery walls, the antique mirrors, it's all very much reflective of some of the New York apartments that we enjoy so much and so we've tried to create that aesthetic here. We have um, a collection of a lot of found things, um, antique finds, thrifted uh, frames that we have put artwork in that we love, old mirrors, antique mirrors. This gallery wall is really expressive of everything that we love. So when we walk in the home, we see this and it's very meaningful to us. This pencil sketch is especially meaningful because my husband painted this cowboy hat. And what's better than a cowboy hat for Nashville, right? And then as you move over to the opposite wall, One of the things about apartment living is always finding creative storage, but yet making it functional and beautiful. And again, I have another mirror. This antique mirror has a really unique shape and it reflects, as you can see, it reflects the whole apartment. Now we are entering our living room slash my office. And we have worked really hard to get this space to where it functions well, that the furniture is arranged properly. It's taken me quite a while to do this but I really love it now. This is a mix of new pieces and some found things, some thrifted items. I've thrifted probably every mirror that I have in this entire apartment and I have a lot of mirrors as you will see from this video. And one of my favorites is above this space in the living room, but we created this gallery wall Again, I have a mirror. I think I have two mirrors in this. We also thrifted all the frames. And then we went to a public domain website. I think it was Pickroll to create and print off some of the art pieces that we found. Things that are reflective of what we love. And we have gallery walls throughout this entire apartment because it's really brings that New York vibe that we like. This Ottoman was a special project. It was a free find and I painted it with chalk paint and it feels like leather and I love it. We use this all the time. It's been such a happy piece in this space and it works so well for us. And then as we pan over here, this is my office wall. This desk folds down and I can work and create all my jewelry here. I have hidden in this apartment, under the sofa, under the console table, and in these baskets on this shelf, all the things I need to create jewelry. By evening, this looks like th what you see right here, but in the daytime as I'm working, I have all my guitar strings out and all my beads are out all over the desk and I'm creating and working. It's a happy space. This is form and function meets with, you know, beauty. I believe that you need all those incorporated into one space and I think this reflects that very much. It's a console table yet it functions as my desk. And then we have this five tiered shelf and I already alluded to what's on here, but in these baskets are my tools and my beads. We've got wine bottles and spoons and records and a record player, bowls with fruit. It's just function and beauty. I think it has a little touch of maybe anthropology here. 
I have my beads inside this basket and it just, it hides all of it. And it's so perfect because in apartment living, again, you have to have this access to stuff. You have, you have to have a place to store things, but yet they still look pretty. And this shelf space definitely does that for us. And then opposite that is this little handmade bench. And it is a nice little piece that we have used in multiple ways in the apartment, but currently is here with a place to store extra dishes, a picnic basket, and inside the picnic basket, I have some cookbooks that I wanna have access to, but I don't wanna see them because they're red. <laughs> I don't wanna see red in my apartment. Now on to the kitchen. This was such a frustrating space for so long. We begged the management to fix the peeling laminate. These are common in apartments that they put this cheap laminate and after a while it comes off where it's thermofoil, I think they call it. And so we took matters into our own hands and we said, screw it, I'm done dealing with you. I'm peeling the laminate off. We sanded and painted them with a premium bare paint. And this was two coats of a primer and paint mixed together. And we added the black knobs there from Amazon and it just totally revolutionized the space. We have little collections of things that are functional yet pretty. And that's just my philosophy put it all together, make it look pretty, cutting boards, knives. I have my old crock with my spoons and spatulas and I love it. It just works really well. And then these are little spice jars that I got on Amazon as well and I'll link those in the description box below. Another mirror, of course, I have to have another mirror. I told you I had mirrors through the entire apartment and it's one of my secrets. Use a lot of mirrors because it illuminates. It just adds so much light. We do have a lot of light in this apartment, which I love. We also have high ceilings, which is another thing that's great. I love the open shelving above the cabinets and I get to put all my displays of things that are meaningful to me above there. It's especially fun to decorate at Christmas time too which we'll be sharing in a future video, of course. But for now, this is our kitchen and we really like it. It works well. I don't love the countertops, of course. I wish I had granite, but you know, for the time being, we just have to accept the way things are and to make them look as beautiful as possible. And now moving into the dining room. This is my favorite space. I wasn't sure when we painted these walls if I was gonna like this at all, but this color has really grown on me. It's kind of a peach, mauve, mocha, latte, all kind of mixed together and it makes me smile. It really has the undertones that I could live with forever, which is, Put me in autumn and I'm a happy girl. So this is definitely a very autumn toned color and I love it. It just works in this space. When I first painted it, I painted down to the wainscoting trim and then I didn't like it. And so I just decided to paint all the way down to the baseboard. And that is something that I've noticed that New York style apartments do a lot. I would like to add that extra architectural molding and that may be coming in the future. In the meantime, we did create a pretty gallery wall and I did the same techniques that I used in all the other ones. I found free prints that I could print off. These are all thrifted frames 
I found the things that I thought were appropriate for a kitchen and framed them and I love this. I've got one yet to do, one that's finished, unfinished. So as you can see, we are not perfect around here, but I love this collage. It just makes me happy every time I look at it. And I think that's the point of creating gallery walls. I have noticed that since I've created these gallery walls that I sit and I look at them and there's a place for your eye to go and you look at something that makes you smile and I think that's what our living spaces are all about. Things that you see that bring a smile to your face or maybe a memory. Again, all of this is thrifted. I love it. Some of this 1970s candlesticks. I think this stuff is probably home interiors. I don't know. I remember when that stuff was popular. And now here it is again and I love using it in a new way. And then we added these open shelves with this raw edged wood that I love. And again, this is really important because we needed more storage space. This is a way to keep the pretty things out, yet some of the functional things as well. This piece of furniture is a really important piece in this space because we needed more storage. And as you can see, storage has been a, kind of the recurring theme of this video. This was a free piece that we found and I refinished it, added these brass knobs. I have now a space to house some of the extra stuff that I would not have room for in the kitchen, such as the glass dishes or baking dishes, extra china, pretty cups, storage containers, and in the top drawer, I have tea bags and foil, supplements, things that you wouldn't want to see and very quickly you can run out of storage in an apartment. So this has been a life-saving piece of furniture. So the last space for this video is going to our patio. Say hi to Jace. He has mingled all through this video today. I don't know if you saw him before, but this is Jace and he loves the patio. It's one of his favorite spaces too. This is a work in progress. It's not exactly as we want it, but it is getting much closer. We have a mix of old and new and vintage and antique, and I love that. That's To me, that's what makes a space great. The chairs are from World Market. The coffee table was thrifted. The bench is an antique. The swing we purchased from Amazon. The sh candelier, I almost said chandelier. <laughs> it's a candelier, and um, we found it in a thrift store and I painted it black but we just have a lot of mix of things that we have thrifted vases that I've created for that stone pottery look this is such a cozy corner here with the ladder and the candelier and I love it at this time of year we can come out light the candles in the evening I swing all the time in this corner I love it I feel so connected to my childhood when I sit in a swing and so this space is a very happy space I also love that we are on the second level and when I sit out here I don't look out and see cars in the parking lot so anyway that concludes today's tour I hope you enjoyed our video we'll be sharing a lot more spaces make sure you do subscribe Thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for visiting us today.